Welcome to the Great Colorado Wildflower Safari and some other adventures with the flight of the crow's wing and the back road capers. We left our campsite on the Willow Springs Road outside of Moab, Utah and headed to higher elevations in Colorado. The iOverlander app said there was good camping on Echo Basin Road outside of Mancos, Colorado, so we decided to go have a look. And high up on the granite cliffs called the Ramparts, we found this campsite overlooking Mancos. But I am getting a little ahead of myself. Before we got there, we got to go through this. Some local ranch was having a cattle drive. The cattle were strung out for what seemed like miles. Big ones, little ones, short ones, tall ones. Get along, little doggie. Move it. They were on both sides of the road, walking through the middle of the road. They have no fear of traffic. Herp, herp, here she, here she, nope, 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 not, not in front, go, no, er. Oh, look, get along, little doggy. Once we got past all the traffic and through the town of Mancos, we found ourselves up in a beautiful little aspen woods. and to our campsite, with a beautiful view of the San Juan Mountains behind us. After setting up camp, we drove into the town of Cortez and had dinner at the Burger Boy Drive-In. Lucky for me, I had a spotter to guide me right into the space. I neglected my duties of photographing my food for you, but let me tell you, the cheeseburger was delicious. As were the onion rings. And after doing some chores, like laundry, we made it back to camp just about dark.
next morning we went down into town to have some breakfast at a local cafe. On a shop front, I saw this poster. It looks pretty cool. Burrow Fest. Too bad it's going to be next month. I was sad that I was going to miss the Burrow obstacle course, but at least I did have this egg sandwich to console me. It was delicious. Jay spent the day biking on the local bike trails and we went back to camp. While Jay was out having fun, Beth and I stayed in camp and studied online to get our gate guarding license. The sunsets from the ramparts are amazing. The next morning, we were making plans for the day. I suggested we go take photos of flowers. I made sure to make it more palatable to the guys by calling it a safari. It worked! So I laid out a route, and away we went. We're on a photo of a flower safari. What? Flower safari. Looking for some flowers. Flower safari. Early in the morning, we'll be starting out. You might as well be coming along. We're loading up our tacos with our cameras inside. Heading out singing our song. Come on, baby, wait and see. You come a flower searching with me. Let's go searching now. Everybody's learning how. Come on in safari with me. Safari with me. Yeah, me. Mountain Golden Banner. Rocky Mountain Iris. Wooly Mule's Ears. In the bag. Wooly Mule's Ears. Did you do this because I'm an ass? <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a mule. He smells like a mule. But I put on my deodorant. Call him in Dandelion. If I were a dandelion, la 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 la. My blood is not made for this. California False Hellebore. Canada Violet. Yellow Avalanche Lily.
Harry's Primrose. Red Columbine. Occasionally, when you're driving down a forest road on a flower safari, you come across this, a tree in your road. Do we turn back or do we keep going forward? I think we can cut the tree all right over here and move it out of the way with the winch. What do you think, the bow saw or the axe? Bow saw or axe? I'm gonna go with axe. We'll see. Our forward progress is blocked by this tree. We're gonna go forward. There is no going back. Nope. No going back. Not on this safari. Does not drive this show. It is all about good luck, Stu. So get your camera ready. See, now I have our trucks in the background. The roads blocked off. That didn't tighten at all. This is a money shot right here. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Are you ready? Speeding. What are you going to do for that piece? Oh. On this side, maybe? Jay wants it. Jay Give wants it to Jay. Side. I don't know. Go for it. Think it's going to work on this side? I don't know. Yep. I think it might be through. Well, I got this little piece here that's still stuck. Well, hit that piece instead of the top piece. Well, that's what I was trying to, <laughs> not, not the top to get to it. Somebody chopped the wrong spot. That should do it. Picked up the axe and the bow saw, got them out of the way, and I grabbed the stuff to get the winch all set up. And in the meantime, they moved the tree. I guess I don't need this. Teamwork makes the dream work. Cows clover. Wild chives. Teeny tiny little flower. Field pussy toes. Toe beans. Oh. 
black carry. So you can stop taking pictures of your camp. You have the picture for this one. She's not taking pictures. She's taking a video of us doing dishes because she cooked. Uh, <laughs> well, Ouch. Sorry, I mean, mosquito nice, on your hand. It's nice when she cooks because you get to inventory all of your... Uh, all your dishes? All your dishes because they're all used every night. <laughs> <laughs> but the food is so good. <laughs> but the food is delicious. And they're complicated recipes. It was much cooler here than in Moab. James in the giant puffy jacket. The next day we went to the nearby Mesa Verde National Park. We stopped at the visitor center to get a map, and after waiting in line for 20 minutes, we were told we could get one at the booth down the road. Off to a great start. Map in hand, we could make a plan. First we'd stop at the step house, and then later on to the square tower and other ruins. As we drove along the park road, we stopped for the views of all the Mesa Verde sites, like the Navajo view, the square tower house, the Sun Point Pueblo, and the Sun Point view, and let's not forget the Sun Temple. I like that there is a arrow that points up. This is the step house. All about the levels. So again, is that real or is that put in by the park service? What's that? No. Jay has park petroglyph conspiracy theories. The park ranger said they were real, but that's exactly what you'd expect someone who made fake petroglyphs to say. This is really cool, huh? A little hard to photograph being in it. Some of it's in shade and some of it's in sunlight! A kiva. They really like their kivas. This is the square tower ruin. You could get up close to the sun temple. For the larger dwellings, like the Cliff Palace, the park holds tours, and you must buy tickets on recreation.gov online before you show up. With so many people visiting the parks these days, the tickets sell out weeks to months ahead. So plan accordingly. We didn't, of course, so we had to just take the long view from the overlook. This sound occurred all around us. And we had no idea what it was. Burbs of Western North America. Common Nighthawk. Voice. Nasal paint. Call distinguishes common from lesser. In courtship display. Male's wings make a hollow booming sound. Hmm. With an urge to see more cliff dwellings, we took off on the Sand Canyon Trail. This hike has several cliff dwellings along the way, and best of all, we had it mostly to ourselves. It's a view of Sand Canyon.
It's a video of people taking video. I believe this is the side blotch lizard in the green phase. All in all, we hiked nearly nine miles in just over four hours. The next day, Beth and I left the teardrop at the campsite with Jay, and we headed for Wichita Falls, Texas, to pick up the RV we ordered back in May. This is going to be our work camping trailer, so we have some place to live while we pick up temp jobs as we travel across the country. With the purchase of the RV, we got a free night at the Coyote Ranch, which we thought might be one of those Bordetellos, but it wasn't. It was a campground. And there it is, our home, while we roll. After our one night stand at the Coyote Ranch, we took it up to Amarillo, put it in a storage unit, and headed back to Jay. I hope he didn't miss us too much. If the English language made any sense, lackadaisical would have something to do with a shortage of flowers. Doug Larson. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like thingy, and maybe share and subscribe.